Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming over. I really prefer doing these group projects at my place. It's so much more comfortable than in the library. Please have a seat. Can I get you anything? Water? Soda? Coffee? No? Alright, suit yourself. You know, I think I prefer it when the professor chooses who has to work together. It's nice to get to know someone new instead of always teaming up with the same people over and over. I mean, what are the odds of us ever working together if not for this project, right? <laughs> anyway, I was thinking we can start off by scanning through the scholar search, skim through the papers, flag those that deserve a closer look, and then... Maybe afterwards we can... Hey! At least look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> I can't tell if you're even listening to me at all. Alright. As I was saying, we make a list of papers that look interesting and then we divide them between the two of us. We each read our half and summarize the most important findings. And that pretty much takes care of the literature review part already. And then... <sighs> yeah, this isn't gonna work. <sighs> you keep refusing to make eye contact with me. It's kind of pissing me off. <laughs> I didn't realize you were so shy. Do I make you nervous? <laughs> well, don't worry. You're in luck. I'm going to help you get over that little eye contact issue of yours. Mm -hmm. I happen to dabble in psychology too, in my spare time. Everyone needs a hobby, right? I love learning what makes people tick, how the mind works, and how to fix it when it misbehaves. And I'm going to fix you. What we're going to do is called exposure therapy. More specifically, flooding. Basically, you take a person and you expose them to a massive dose of the thing that they're afraid of or that causes them anxiety, but you do it in a safe and controlled way in combination with relaxation exercises. For example, if someone is afraid of spiders, they have to stick their hands in a box full of the things to keep them there while the therapist tells them to calm down until they realize there's really nothing to be afraid of. And then, Later, if they simply see one from far away, it barely even provokes a reaction anymore. Likewise, someone who's afraid of fireworks would be asked to listen to a long recording of fireworks. And so on. So, you are going to be staring into my eyes. Yep. Better.
better get used to the idea because it is happening. There's no way I'm spending the next couple of weeks talking to a wall every evening. It might be somewhat uncomfortable for a bit, but I promise you, after tonight, you will never have problems keeping eye contact again. And it will make working together a lot more enjoyable. So, lean back, get comfortable, and look into my eyes. There you go. This is so bad now, is it? Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Don't look away. Keep your eyes on mine. You can blink, but I want you to keep looking into my eyes and think of it as a staring contest, if you'd like. Take it easy. This really isn't such a big deal. Just relax and breathe. Go on. Take a deep breath for me. Breathe in. And out. Again, in. And out. Very good. That's better, isn't it? Mm hmm. It's not so bad at all looking someone in the eye. In fact, eyes can be quite fascinating to look at. Take my eyes, for example. Notice how there's a dark ring right around the outer edge of the iris. That's called the limbal ring. And then a little closer to the center, you see that the color changes and the color keeps changing as you look deeper into my eyes, becoming brighter and darker and shifting from one color to the next as you keep looking deeper and deeper. It's a fascinating pattern. And it's different for every pair of eyes, too. Every pair of eyes is unique. And you can just keep looking into mine. There's really nothing to it. Don't even think about it. Just keep looking and relax. Breathe in. Attention, just breathe it all out. There's nothing to worry about, nothing to care about. You can simply relax and let it go. Let go.
go of everything. You can look at the reflections of the light dancing on the surface of my eyes. Or you can simply look deeply into my eyes. Let yourself sink deep down into them. It's all perfectly fine as long as you relax and let go. You can let your thoughts simply drift away. Let them wander wherever they might lead you. Maybe your thoughts are about how pretty my eyes are, or how fascinating they are to look at, or maybe you are thinking about how comfortable you are, or how the sound of my voice makes you feel, or Maybe you aren't thinking about anything at all. And that's fine too. That's perfectly fine because you don't have to think. All you have to do is relax and listen to my voice and you are doing very well. Just looking and listening and letting everything go. Feeling so safe and calm and so wonderfully relaxed and heavy. And I can tell that are starting to get heavy too, and that they're getting heavy and droopy and tired. That's all right. You can close them. Close your eyes and keep listening. You want to let yourself slip away and sleep. And you can sleep. You can sleep for me. And just keep listening to my voice. It's so easy. So natural. To sleep and simply let my words wash over you, taking you deeper and deeper. As you drift and float, drift away deeper and deeper and deeper down and you don't need to remember you can let all of those memories fade away entirely and wake up go ahead and wake up now open your eyes Wake up. Hey. Welcome back. How do you feel? Nice and relaxed? <laughs> yeah. Hypnosis will do that. 
It's a great way to put someone at ease. <laughs> yes, I hypnotized you. <laughs> what? Do you think you're under my spell now or something? That I can make you do whatever I want? Because that is exactly right. You are under my spell now. You will obey me. You will obey any command I give you. And whenever I feel like it, I can simply put you in a trance again, too. All I have to do is tell you to melt for me. That's right. Look into my eyes and melt for me. Listen to me. You are mine now. I hypnotized you. Your mind is mine. And that doesn't bother you at all. Because you trust me. You know that you can trust me. Understand? Good. Then... Wake up. <laughs> yeah. Hypnosis is awesome. Don't you think so? <laughs> oh my. Is it already that late already? <sighs> Time sure flies when you're having fun. <laughs> we should really get started on that project. But first, let me just... There we go. I sent you a picture of my eyes. You can, of course, just keep it on your phone and never even look at it. Or... Anytime you like, you can open it. And stare into my eyes and imagine that I'm hypnotizing you and conditioning you and repeat. I obey over and over again because you know how good it feels to melt for me. You know just how much you want to. And who knows? You might even manage to go under for a bit for real. Just by staring at the picture of my eyes. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, don't worry if you don't manage it right away. Practice makes perfect, after all. I'll be sure to give you lots and lots of practice at going into trance for me. Enough fooling around. There is research to be done. 